back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So I am basically going to be talking about outerwear today. And on my reel, as you can see, I have a few of my absolute favorite coats this season that I have been wearing on rotation. If you are already subscribed to my channel, there's a chance you may have seen quite a few of these because I'm definitely wearing them on rotation. I get a lot of wear out of my coats. I'm definitely a bit of an autumn winter baby. I absolutely love outerwear and knits and it's my favorite time of the year. So I make the most of this weather and I wear my coats uh, to oblivion. So I just wanted to share some of my favorite ones that I have found both very practical and also very stylish this season. Starting with one of my absolute favorite coats this season and one that I have been spamming everyone on YouTube and Instagram with. It is this belted coat from Zara. This I purchased literally the minute I saw it come online. Um, I absolutely adore this style. I wanted a wrap coat, I really wanted a Max Mara coat. This is of course on the more affordable side. I am in love with the colour of this, I think it's a really great brown, really complimentary for an autumn wardrobe. I tend to wear a lot more camel tones and warmer, richer tones during the season, so this complements that really well. This is a wool blend coat, it gives a little bit of warmth, it's not itchy at all. What I like about this coat is that it's a little bit lightweight, so I can throw it over something really light right now, um, and it's the perfect piece to really transition towards the colder month. But it's also got this nice bagginess and flowiness to it, so it means I can wear more layers underneath and just really wrap up for winter. So I have this in a size small, which is the perfect size for me. It fits really well, um, it hugs me in the right places. I have seen a few comments going around on my Instagram and on my channel as well. Just a couple of reviews from other people on the coat and how it's not fitted them properly. To be honest, the first time I wore it, I didn't think it fit me that well. And it kind of bunched up around my waist, but the more I've worn it, the more it seems to have really moulded to my shape. Um, and I just kind of pull it down a little bit when I feel like it's getting a bit bunged up. This is around £100 um, and the quality is good. It's, it's a nice quality but I mean I don't think it's going to really last me for years to come. Um, I wouldn't say it's something that's super timeless which is a real shame because I am trying to be a little bit more ethical and purchase things that are more sustainable. Um, I'm educating myself on it a lot more but I don't think that this really fits the bill in terms of sustainability, which is a real shame, but I am looking towards finding more sustainable pieces and sharing that with you guys as it is. it's really important. But speaking of quality, as I mentioned, I don't think this coat will see me through a lot of seasons. However, I have this coat here from Mango, which is just a little bit more premium. Again, this is a wool blend, but the difference in quality from this and the Zara one is miles apart. This again is kind of a very timeless coat. I love the wrap style. I have this again in a small, but this just fits a little bit more oversized, a little bit more baggy. I absolutely love the oversized look, especially on the sleeves. It just looks really nice and cozy and comfortable. It also has amazing deep pockets which I'm always looking for with coats. I think having a grey staple coat is really important for a capsule wardrobe. If you are someone that's building something quite concrete and quite capsule and something that, you know, your pieces that you can wear on rotation, this is definitely something I would suggest. I think the colour is really gorgeous. It's really nice to contrast with black outfits, white outfits. Pretty much most outfits I think a grey coat looks really nice with. And what I really like is it has the slight tailored look to it too. Even though it's very comfortable, it's very cosy, I think it still looks quite sophisticated and it's definitely something that you can wear professionally and casually. Uh, I can see myself wearing this with some heels for something a little bit more sophisticated but also with trainers so it's slightly more laid back. So this is definitely a really great investment coat if you are looking to buy something a bit more expensive this month for your autumn and winter coat. So you probably saw this one coming. 
I purchased this trench coat towards the beginning of this year and the amount of wear I have got out of it is unreal. I could not be happier with the quality of this trench coat, with the style, with the fit. It really is my perfect trench coat. I think everybody has their perfect trench coat, the kind of silhouette that they like on themselves, the way, the flowiness, the little details. But this one is mine. It's very Inspector Gadget. <laughs> it's very oversized and very masculine, but I absolutely adore it. So this is from Under the Stories. I actually have it in a size 12. Another real selling point for me is the fact that it has inside pockets. As soon as I saw that, I was like, sold. The color of this is really nice. It's a nice beigey tone, quite muted and quite cool. I am not a massive fan of really warm trench coats. This one really fits the bill. This one is just a really nice tone to complement the rest of my outfits. As I know it's not available online, it comes and goes. So if you do manage to get your hands on it, definitely go for it. It's a really great heavyweight trench coat. Something that will see you through a few seasons. I can definitely see myself wearing this next year and the year after that, unless I invest in a more premium trench coat, like a Burberry trench coat. Um, but I do see myself wearing this a lot. I love the details of the buttons. I love the little details like the flaps. I don't know what they're called. Um, everything about this trench coat is just amazing. So as I mentioned, um, I bought this quite a while ago. So it might still be available. If it's not, I am going to find some alternatives. But if you do see some trench coats on Under the Stories, I really would recommend just trialing it out because I find Under the Stories outerwear and generally most of their pieces amazing quality and also they are pieces that wear really well so you tend to get so much wear out of them like i have done with this trench coat now if you watched my previous videos you would have seen that i purchased a corduroy blazer and when i first purchased it i was a little unsure about whether i would get a lot of wear out of it whether it is something that's wearable or if it's just something that is really trendy now I have really surprised myself, I have got so much wear out of this corduroy blazer. I have said this previously but what really stood out for me was the colour of this corduroy blazer. It's a really nice, rich, caramel tone, it is so complimentary for autumn, I think it's just a really perfect autumnal colour, fabric, style. Um, they have been releasing a lot of corduroy suits, which for me I find just a little bit too much. With corduroy you can kind of lose your silhouette and your figure a bit and it's not very structured for fabric because it's so heavy and so ribbed and thick. But this one is really great because it has shoulder pads so you get a little bit more structure around your shoulders again and it also slinches you in at the waist a little bit. So you still have a little bit of a feminine silhouette but it's still quite masculine. I really like the lapels. I think it's just, just gorgeous. Um, I have been able to wear this with jeans, with a dress, with a skirt. It really flows nicely over pretty much anything. And I think it's quite a subtle take on the corduroy trend. I bought this blazer in a size small and it was £79.99. Although it's a small, it is actually loose enough for you to lay it underneath as well, which I am really stressing with all of these outerwear pieces because you don't want to buy something and just wear it for that season. I think it's important to buy things that you can take through to the next season that will be versatile and you can layer with and just, just dress it up in a bunch of different ways. Moving on to this jacket, this is a bit more of a recent purchase, I got it from Mango. This jacket I actually picked up in Istanbul, um, but UK price it is £50 and I have it in a size medium. So it's kind of a shirt style herringbone jacket, the colours on this are gorgeous, I absolutely love them. It's got really nice hues of browns and cool browns and black just add something a little different, adds a little bit more dimension as well to this jacket. I really like how casual this jacket is and I wanted to buy it in an oversized fit because I really was inspired by the Chloe oversized jacket that I'm sure you probably have seen kind of floating around the internet right now. This I think would look really lovely with a tailored outfit. I also wanted to buy it in a size medium again so I can 
don't want some jumpers underneath. I can imagine it looking really nice with a thick cream jumper underneath it. This is definitely not a coat, you can see it is a little bit on the lighter side. So it is something that I think is a little bit more transitional. I don't know how much wear you might get out of this in winter, possibly during winter evenings if you're just literally heading straight to an event and going back home, but it's not something that I would say is going to give you that much warmth. But another brown tone jacket. I'm really obsessed with these tones this season. I don't know why I have gravitated so much towards them. It just feels very autumnal. For me last year I was really into blacks and navies and grey, but this year I'm all about the brown tones. This brings me to my last piece and it is this extremely structured blazer from H&M. The colour is this lovely caramel colour, definitely a little bit more on the warmer side. And the fabric and the structure of this blazer is amazing. For H&M especially, it's high street and it just looks so premium. The pins I absolutely love. I'm not one that normally goes for something extremely fitted around here, but again, the structure of this is so beautiful and so flattering and I can imagine it looking so lovely on so many different figures. Again what I really love is the tailor look at the lapels, I'm all about the tailoring. It looks a little bit more premium with the stitching around the lapels as well and then we have the finishing touches with the buttons. Again so important whenever it comes to buying outerwear as soon as I see a pop her button I'm out. Um, so I always look for a good quality blazer or, or coat that have every finishing touch right down to the buttons. I can imagine myself wearing this and laying this up with one of my outerwear pieces, maybe a trench coat or maybe an actual wrap coat over would look really really nice. This is from the premium range at H&M and it is a wool jacket so it retails for £99.99, .99. again let's just round that up to £100. You can also get coordinating trousers for this but it really is worth the money. I think when you find a piece like this on the high street that is around that price mark um, and is such good quality, I really think it's an absolute steal because you can wear this so often and it's a very timeless fit and a very timeless colour as well so you know you'll be getting quite a bit of wear out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's a little bit different to my other videos because I'm talking to you guys directly so it does feel a little bit like new territory for me but I really hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Um, if you aren't subscribed to me already, it would be great if you did hit that subscribe button so my new videos come up in your subscription box every week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!